What's going on y'all, it's Dwayne Goodman here, back with another G League tryout vlog. And y'all know I signed up for five of them because I'm trying to make this D3 to NBA journey happen however I can. I ain't got no other ways, so let's get into it. This is the jersey that they gave us, um, the Greensboro Swarm. This thing is fire, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this jersey right here was tough. You got the little, what is G League logo? G League logo. <laughs> Like I was already in the G League already, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people was probably like on some like, oh, it's just a regular jersey. What? A G League jersey, first of all, bro, like anything after like anything basketball related that I have a privilege to do is amazing, bro. So I love the experience. I got all the things written out right here so I can have a clean little layout of uh, everything that happened. Because of signing up was really difficult because <laughs> it was more old school. I had we had to get a money order from a bank, like a check was sent to them. Cause that was the only way they gonna accept it. Usually these G League trials, you can sign up online, pay online with a credit card. This one, you had to get a money order. You had to get all the paper, print it out, fill it out, <laughs> and then take it to the mail, uh, to the uh, USPS, send it off. Now that thing's expensive. It was like $20 if you go to like UPS. Um, but I went to USPS and it was like $9. So if y'all ever gotta send some money orders and all that stuff, do it through USPS. How's it going, Coach Roy? My name is Dwayne Goodman, a 6'2 point guard that will be at the G League trials tomorrow. Um, of course, I know it's going to take um, a lot more than just a voice call, but I just wanted to present myself in a way that you would know me a little bit more. Um, I am a high-energy player that loves to compete and play defense and loves to win, most importantly. I know that offense is a dime a dozen, but I feel like my energy and my passion and my hustle is not something that can be easily found. I hope I can give you guys a, a good showcasing of who I am and how I can impact the program. Get into the vlog right now and then also tell you guys if it's a scam or not and everything will happen to me. Me personally, I went crazy and I feel like I was that guy there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let y'all know what happened and all that stuff. So uh, stay tuned and check out this vlog and stay to the end. Alright, see y'all later. Hello everyone. <laughs> nah, that was bad. Right. Oh, another intro. Hello guys, are you lost? Welcome to Goody World Vlogs, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. You know, it's, uh, it's a good vibe. I got Goody World on, you know. I also got Goody World shorts on. It's always a good time to be alive, you know what I'm saying? This is where you're a Goody World, mental health brand. Come on, how could you beat it? <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I'm about to go to the gym right now. I'm gonna go work out at the gym. Right, then I'm gonna go pick up a shirt to do somebody's order for my goodie world, so y'all can see that. Out again, maybe get some more shots. Then after that, um, I have to tomorrow, then go to Greensboro for the Greensboro Swarm tryout. Then right after that, then I have to get on a flight at 7 p.m. So the Greensboro Swarm tryout is at 10.30 to three. Then at seven o'clock, I gotta be on a flight to go to Orlando to get ready for my Lakeland Magic tryout. That's at 9 a.m. the next day. So 24 hours, I'm gonna be doing two tryouts. But, but regardless, bro, that's what we're doing. This, this is why we're here. You know what I'm saying? More opportunity, more opportunity, more opportunity. So right now, I gotta make sure I'm ready for the opportunity to get to the gym, you know what I'm saying? So if you do watching this right now, like, subscribe right now, and hope I can give y'all a good little thing, all right? And watch, stay to the end, and hear the little reviews about both of the things. All right, so I'll see y'all a little bit. Oh, I got, the, I got the hood lens on right now. You see, this is I'm, I'm hitting it, but it ain't. <laughs> I'm gone. I know y'all can see the gym. It's a little spot, the YMCA. Good spot. You feel? I'm gonna be doing that. Um, doing a little conditioning, get some weight room work in, and then I'm gonna hit the court. Ugh, and get some shots up. You dig what I'm saying? Hold on. All right, I'm trying to do it with the camera. Oh, somebody shooting? For sure. Look, look. look. God, don't. Yo, oh, put that in the intro. <laughs> Been through a lot, you wouldn't wanna believe. Knew they were running on me, made it and running on E. Used to be down, then I came up with a D. Look at me now, I feel like it's nothing on me. Look at me now, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, 
diamonds on me dancing Who you ain't with? I can't take no chances Know the game, yeah. how could I be average? Ooh, all of my partners in league Y'all got a fun like you hiding the streets Raising the sun, no, we not finna link Making assumptions, it's not what you think I had to pray and believe, God Really came up with a jig, dog. I been a whip and I speed off Skrr, 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 devil on my head Still I never lay down People came and went Saw the ones that stayed down Lying on my name Most got told to play wrong Guess we not the same Nothing not the same no. Been through a lot You wouldn't wanna believe Knew they were running on me Made it and running on E Used to be done Then I came up with a D Look at me now It's like R.I.P. Shoes on, I should step out the G. Fools on, they at here on G. I'm cool on it, I can hold my peace. I know how to keep my head on a leash. I came out of D. Why would I argue with you when I know that you came out the reef? Told them to see that ain't no place for the weed. That ain't no place that they wanna go up. I was just chasing the cheese. I was just chasing the green. Carved the plate, OD. Been through a lot. I put the pain on the beat. He put my sin on the cross We gotta pay the fee Been through a lot But that was a little taste of my little uh, weight room session But now I'm finna get into his basketball work Just kinda just going through, you know what I'm saying, like some some actions that I'm gonna be doing Mostly gonna be ISO stuff because in these tryouts there's gonna be a lot of ISO Like as I seen in my last one I learned, you know what I'm saying, like it's important for you to learn every time you have a situation or anything happens, you gotta learn, adapt. So I know it's gonna be a lot of ISO, so I need to get into my one dribble pull-ups, um, you know what I'm saying, my slow to fast stuff. So that's what I'm probably gonna do in this workout right now. Of all the, like, the little things, cause you can't really prepare for a game unless you play in a game or like a live setting. So right now I'm just going through the stuff that when I get to that spot, I can make it. You know what I'm saying? Like the worst thing to do is to do a whole bunch of moves and then you get to that shot, you can't even make the shot. We're ready for that, just uh, yeah. I need to mark out what the NBA line is, but I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna shoot way, way further. I don't shoot like red line. That should be straight. <laughs> Dude, they were running on me. Made it running on E. Used to be done. Then I came up with a G. Look at me now. I feel like it's running on me. Every time in the pen, on a little life right here, they got right here. Only time I ever depend on. When I'm high, I feel low. Uh huh. I fell to my knees, tryna pick up the pieces. Couldn't find any other way out. Momentary releases. I serve God with no shadow of doubt. He made my burden easy. I was poor, but they on the block. Told my head was not easy. Yeah. Look at my life, 180 on sale Last night it was dark, but today a new day I'm stand for the plot, but I don't rip new theta Oh, look, I run to the sky, elevator mm -hmm. Giving my problems to God Giving my problems to God Been through a lot You wouldn't wanna believe Knew they were running on me Made it and running on E Used to be done Then I came up with a G Look at me now I feel like it's nothing on me well, my thing is this. I don't understand how traffic ever starts. Like, just drive regular, bro. Like, all right, granted, there's more people on the road, but like, what's, like, what's, what's making the traffic start? You know, like, I wonder who's the first person who makes the traffic start. Like, I wonder if somebody just get out and be like, oh yeah, it's time for me to slow up today. Like, if you just drive, I guarantee everybody can get safely and wherever they need to go. But like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I'm making sense, but I feel like I'm making sense to a lot of people. But, bro, like, why does traffic start? You feel me? Like, if everybody's just driving, bro, everybody's driving, especially on the highway, that's crazy. Like, okay, this. Why? Why? Maybe if I was in, like, a small city where, like, it's on, like, one road for, like, everything. Bro, no, Charlotte's too big for this. Why is there, like, cars just slowing down? Like, this car right here. Go! Not today. <laughs> Not today, bro. But, bro, come on, man. There's things we can do other than be in traffic. All right, now we now now we going. See, now we going. I, I guarantee it's all the slow cats. I just want to know how all this starts. Like, how does all the traffic and all? Stay like... in the middle lane. Okay, serious. I am doing this Goody World Spread Love shirt, and I gotta peel out all the stuff. And a lot of people don't understand that this process is a long time. So this O right here, I gotta lift it up. It's kind of frustrating. So boom. Now you see the O is gone now. So now it's a full O. Spreading positivity with all my shirts. Like this says spread love. And it's a mental health brand, if I hadn't said that already. But this is a mental health brand. I hope that everybody who purchases from me, they kind of get like a sense of like, all right, well, my like life is tough, but I'm tougher, you know? The thing that everybody with mental health um, needs to understand is like, life is tough but you've been through tough times too you know what i'm saying like it's not like this is your first time going through a tough time and if it is just know that you can you can battle through you know like it's it's not the fact that you're not stronger than it you know because if you wasn't stronger than it then it would have took you out a long time ago but it didn't uh good world you know what i'm saying let's press it on as y'all can see y'all see i got that right there i got this black shirt all right Oh yeah, we good. We lock in. Mad fast. We gonna go. We gonna pre-press that mug. Huh. Some drops. All right, bro. Hold up. Ooh, look at that thing. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that thing right there. <laughs> look at that thing right there, man. This thing down, and we gonna have to get this order done. You dig on that machine, boy? Mm-hmm. Oh, goody world, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get y'all shirts, $20. Yeah, I'm doing all this work for $20. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, it's not about the money. It's about the impact. And this is impact right here. This gives me a sense of life. You feel what I'm saying? And now we wait. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Spread love, goody world. Oh, this thing's so pretty. And it's a mental health brand. Yeah, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? At a low cost, but amazing quality. This is a heavy shirt too, no doubt. Yeah, it cost you hundred dollars with some brands. I ain't gonna say no names, but I got I got done my workout after I dropped it off. I'm probably gonna make some food for myself. Everybody used to talk about me. Dwayne, you eat like a, a middle school kid? Shut up, all y'all. Y'all shut up. And if you still think I eat like a middle school kid, I'ma prove you wrong. <laughs> I'ma prove you wrong, for real. Would you rather teleport or would you rather uh, read minds? You read minds, you can kind of tell what everybody's thinking. I guess that has like perks to it. But I don't really care what people got to say about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, whatever they feel, I right, cool, whatever. But I feel like if I could teleport though, that's so tough. Imagine like, or you know what I'm saying? Say, say if like you got a little sugar boo boo stink stink somewhere in like Texas and they'd be like, oh, slide on me, bet. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like teleportation is fire. You can get away with mad stuff. I ain't, I ain't vouching that you do criminal activity. All I'm saying is, I feel like that would be fire. Y'all answer that question right now. Teleport, or would you rather read minds? And then tell me why. Right now, we at the, uh, the thing, Majiga post office. The little thing, talking about intention for your safety. Ooh, I wonder that's gonna hurt. Oh. Look, look at me. I'm a rebel. Tell everybody, bro. They be like, Dwayne, you not a thug. Dwayne, you not a thug. Who not a thug? Who? Me? Oh, I'm a thug. Magic. <laughs> um, I, I've been doing a lot of these already. Right now, I'm just going through the swarm. I'm going through the swarms kind of Instagram page and trying to find their coaches. I sell myself um, as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? See, they're gonna have to see it when I get there. You know? But um, yeah. I don't think it would hurt to you know put yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? And I also send a like a highlight tape of myself. 
um, prior to me coming. So I, I, I've done about five of these already, but um, Daniel Roy, you are next. All of them don't say the same thing, though. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to just get into it. How's it going, Coach Roy? My name is Dwayne Goodman, a 6'2 point guard that will be at the G League trials tomorrow. Um, of course, I know it's going to take um, a lot more than just a voice call, but I just wanted to present myself in a way that you would know me a little bit more. Um, I am a high-energy player that loves to compete and play defense and loves to win, most importantly. I know that offense is a dime a dozen, but I feel like my energy and my passion and my hustle is not something that can be easily found. And, of course, you guys are going to have to see that tomorrow, and I know it's not, like easier said than done, but uh, I hope I can give you guys a, a good showcasing of who I am and how I can impact the program. So... See you guys soon, and I um, appreciate you taking the time to listen to this um, voice call. Y'all like that? Was that good? It's 41 seconds, so. Um, send it to all of them. Don't know if they're going to listen to it. But <laughs> hey, man, that's that's just who I am as a player, you know what I'm saying? I sent my highlights. Which one is this one? Oh, yeah, kick out. Oh, my gosh, good find, Dwayne. Bag is on a million. Watch it. Look, look at the distance. Foul. Oh, is it block? No. Oh, step back. Foul. Doing this one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so elite. It's a skip over. Uh, skip over. Y'all can look at it up on YouTube. It, you just type in Dwayne Goodman Jr. Ultimate Highlights. All right. So right now I'm getting some more shots up. So this will be workout number three. Um, recover my body, do some foam rolling. Uh, I got cupping um, and probably ice and stuff. Bro, I invest so much money in my recovery. I, I invest so much money in recovery. It's crazy. I don't really spend no money on nothing. Like clothes and stuff, I don't. I spend money is on my clothing line and basketball stuff. And that's really it, bro. I don't spend no money because I really need this basketball thing to work out. So getting there, right? I had to drive an hour and a half just to get there. At 7.30 a.m. I had to wake up and uh, make sure I get there before the 10.30 a.m. start time. Because it started, it was from 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's a long time, right? And a lot of these camps be three hours. This one was mad long. I can't do math on the top of my head. That is like four hours and a half. Or five. Whatever, bro. Y'all get it. Y'all get what I'm saying. So, not to mention I had to pack the night before, before my Orlando trial. So, bro, I had two trials within 24 hours. But I'll get into that in the next vlog when I tell y'all how that went. We had to play at UNCG. The trial was at UNCG um, in Greensboro. And that's a college. And so, you know, a lot of so college strange. campuses, they don't have a lot of visitor parking. Right now. Oh, so, yeah, you had yeah. to find parking <laughs> so you don't get towed. Because colleges are notorious for towing everybody, bro. So, lucky enough, I, I parked right next to a Greensboro Swarm uh, van. So, the picture right there. Bow. So, when I got in there, it was like wrapped all the way around the whole little center, bro. Like, inside the weight, weight room of the UNCG campus. So, I tried to get there to warm up for about an hour before the uh, trial started. I only got like 20 minutes in, so, uh, but it gave us a little more time, so that was cool. And then I got my, uh, my Bible out and played a video right here. I bet. All right, y'all get into the vibes. Right now, we is 59. Over. Yeah, 59, got the good world on, you know what I'm saying? They doing, they doing the drill work. Drill work before the trials is tough. Psalm 119 just popped right open. Um, but Psalm 1, how happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk according to the Lord's instruction. Happy are those who keep his decrees and seek him with all their heart. They do nothing wrong. They walk in his ways. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. If only my ways were committed to keep your statutes then I would be ashamed when I think about all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statues. Never abandon me. That's a banger. Nah, that's a banger. That's a banger. Ugh. All right, we'll get after it, y'all. Well, prior to even like starting and I was warming up and stuff, everybody, a lot of people knew me from my, my D3 vlog videos, my D3 to NBA journey, like on my social media accounts, I hoop with God, if y'all wanna follow me there. Hey man, we got some superstars in the building, man. Yeah. Why do you get so tall? You six four for real? You six four for real? Yeah. Are you? Shoes. <laughs> I hoop with God. 
on Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> um, so a lot of people knew who I was. That was kind of cool. Like, and a lot of people was from the Cleveland Charge tryout too. Like they all they also came down to Charlotte. And I was like, oh, I remember you. So the format was we got split into teams. Um, and they already had the numbers written out of who was gonna be on what team. And I knew three people on my team, like prior to even going into the tryout, because I hope with them at like the YMCA's and stuff. So we had chemistry, like my boy uh Jalen Knight uh Bird, I know he don't like me saying his real name, but his name is Bird. But <laughs> bro, we was going like me and him was like a tag team, like uh, point guard, shooting guard combo. Like we was going crazy, like coming off screens, pulling up, everything. So with the teams, I was group five. So group five, it was the coach, Coach Reggie. Uh, God get him. If I ever go to these um, G League tryouts at um, Greensboro Swarm, hey, Coach Reggie is is legit, man. He, he gangster, man. He just get out and run and let's whoop on everybody. And I was like, I'm with it, cause I'm I'm picking up full court. Trying to go crazy, like I'm like, bro, I'm, I need that energy. So my team was nice. We was all dogs. We played. We love defense and we love offense. And we got up a lot of shots. We was passing the ball around, doing a lot of uh, good things. I would say we had two big men and like they set good screens. They was finishing at the basket, dunking stuff. So I was like, oh yeah, we good. We all had ten minutes with uh, the teams we got split up into, right? Just to see if you want to do plays, you want to get more shots up or whatever, whatever. Coach Reggie said, look, we're gonna play five on five. If you shoot the ball. If you even if you make it or miss it, it goes to the next team, the next possession, right? And so we was doing that, being competitive. We was going hard, diving on the ball, um, doing alley oops and all that stuff. We was going crazy, bro. And it was a really good experience, bro, because it kind of got the nerves out. Because you playing five on five prior to actually playing five on five against everybody else, and you build a chemistry. So our team, we was going at it, bro. Some people to set a screen away. I'm finding people at the basket. So you know what I'm saying? I, I showcase that I could be a good point guard, a great point guard, let's say that, a great point guard, and also I could make my own shots. I don't have to um, be like robotic, I can make my own shots. Now we get into the camp, right? Every, every team played at first four games, right? We all played four games, because obviously we, we got a lot of time to play. And every game was 15 minutes long, uh, running clock. So mind y'all, in Cleveland Charge, you only got five minutes per team. So me getting 15 minutes every game, like you can showcase who you are, at these tryouts, like so, I feel like that was like really good that we all got to showcase who we was, um, and we didn't have to be like rushing shots. Like we we, we got every shot that we wanted, and uh, I think everybody on my team showcased who they was. Yeah, bro, a lot of these G League tryouts, I didn't know it. we had a whole bunch of D1 players. Shoot, probably about 25, 30, 40 percent of the whole G League tryout, they was D1 players. Like they was players that like had names to themselves and they had agencies and all that stuff bro like they was like legit players bro it wasn't just like some like raggedy like open gym no like there was actually hoopers in here bro and um, I'm gonna get into why it's important to go to these tryouts if you aren't accustomed no matter who was who we played against I tried to be the best example of what a team needs at a point guard right because let's be honest when you go to from G League to the NBA or whatever it is, you're not going to be the main player. Even if you're coming from open trial to the G League, you're not going to be the main guy because they already have a player that is on a two-way contract. A two-way contract means you play for the official team and also the G League team. So there's going to be a player that's coming down to the G League to get all their shots up because they want to move them up to get ready to play in the regular team. So you're probably not going to be that guy. But I made it um, a point to make my open catch and shoot threes, not even open, but if it was guarded or whatever, just make my catch and shoot threes, um, come off um, ISO moves, uh, pull up jumpers, um, and defending uh, 94 feet, giving a lot of energy. Because mind you, I feel like my energy was the top in the whole camp. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I feel like that's not cocky or nothing, but that's who I am. I bring a lot of energy and a lot of like tenacity and I make sure nobody's scoring on me. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I got scored a couple times, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's what I try to do. I play great individual defense, but I also play great team defense. And if y'all see my uh, highlights from my senior year that just passed from a college, like y'all know I play defense and I can score too. And I can make great passes. So now we're gonna get into the verdict of how they, um, the, uh, the top 20 game. So they brought everybody all together and they was like, all right, we appreciate all you guys for coming out here. And you know, you know the coaches feel, you know. Uh, we wish we could take all of you guys. That's a lie. <laughs> Some people, you know what I'm saying, it's not, you're not him. I wish we could take all you guys, but 
Uh, we got top 20 people right now, and they're gonna go into the, the the far court, the court one. So, mind you, now the Cleveland Charge one, I was pretty passive on offense because I wanted to play the right way. This tryout, I took all my shots. I got in the paint. I was scoring. I was kicking out, dishing, playing defense, all the things that you would want your point guard to do when you have other like high high profile scores around. You want somebody who can set everybody up and also play defense and do the dirty work. And that's what I did. So I put that out there and showed them that is that this is who I am, right? And I put it all out there. Going through the numbers and who made the top 20 games. So they went 1, 20, 40, 50. Mind you, I'm number 59, as y'all can see. I was number 59. So when they all right, I don't know if y'all can see that. But when I when they got to when they got to 50, um, uh, I was 59, I was like, oh yeah, my number's getting called. They said 58. And I was like, ooh, that's really close to my number. <laughs> and then they say like number 70. So at that point, I knew they overcounted my number. I knew they, they messed up. So I, I looked, I stood on the side and, and looked at all the players that stood like stood in line for the top 20 games. So I'm like, all right, there's probably like 19 players over there, and it's supposed to be me over there because there's no absolute way that I didn't make it because I scored and played defense. Um, I gave a lot of energy, I was encouraging, like what do you want from a player, bro? And I was scoring efficiently. It wasn't like I was scoring bad and I was taking bad shots. No, I, I scored good. So, um, when I seen there was 20 people over there, I knew it was over for me. Um, I was, what? Tight, bro. Like, I don't know if y'all could understand. Like, I was literally standing over there like this. Like, watching the top 20 game. And, no, and none of them was scoring. Nobody was stopping anybody from getting in the paint. Like, there was no defense, no scoring. So I'm like, bro, what are we doing? <laughs> like, like, are these supposed to be the people who represent our, um, the camp? But respectfully, I mean, hey, y'all made it. So, you know what I'm saying? Kudos to you. You made the top 20 game. All right, that's all love. But uh, me personally, I definitely should have been in there. Like, there's, I, I feel like there was no way I should have made it. But, you know, um, do I feel like it was a scam or do I feel like they overlooked me? Um, I'll start with the, the second part. I do feel like they overlooked me. Um, I feel like the fact that I don't have an agent and stuff and nobody representing me in terms of being there and stuff, um, I do think that they probably did overlook me because I didn't have that prior somebody pushing me to get in the, the door of the Greensboro Swarm uh, tryouts. Do I feel like uh, this camp, this was a scam? I do not, and I'm going to explain why. If you're like me and you came from a small school, a small D D3 school, like you got to understand, bro. Like you need to play against high competition. Um, I think OB tryouts is very high competition. It's it's similar almost to school ball, but I would say it's more intense because you have D1 players there. You have professional players that played in the G League before. Like there was players who played G League already that was trying to play for the Swarm. So they was already there. There's players that are trying to come out for a spot. And because they all know there's only like two or three spots. So you gotta go super hard. So this is a high intense environment with high intense players, with great skilled players. Um, so I feel like this tryout is super important if you haven't played against high competition. When I was in D3, I didn't play against high competition. I was pretty much the biggest, the biggest guard I've ever played against. Like most of the guards I played against was like five seven, five eight, five nine, and D three. And I would go to the basket, and, and then I was just like, like bump them a little bit, and they're flying out of bounds, bro. Like, and it's not even on some like, oh, I'm a flop. No, they would literally fall. So, and even when I was going to the basket, there was no like big man trying to block my shots and stuff, bro. Like, I feel like. It wasn't something that would get me ready for the next level. So going to these tryouts, that will get me ready for the next level because these are high profile players. So I do feel like if you have not been in that environment in like a, um, a top notch pro-am where they're actually playing great defense and great players, these trials are something that you need to get into because without this, I would probably not understand or see like these are important, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't think these are a scam for exposure type of, you know, like if you don't make the team, obviously they're not going to pass you to some other team, but I feel like if you need to play against people in a high, high pressure environment, you need to play in these G League tryouts. I think that's a good, it's a, it's a good experience, I honestly believe. Um, tips to anybody that wants to do these tryouts or these camps, I would say sure that one, you're, you, you have the look, like I feel like 
just to be honest, some of these tryouts and they don't even have the look. Like, you don't look like you lift, you don't look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need to have, you need to pass the look test. If you don't pass the look test, I feel like you're at a disadvantage already because they're gonna look at you like, all right, you're just a regular, like a little YMCA kid. We're not even gonna look your way. So make sure you're, you're lifting and taking your conditioning like seriously. And you don't even gotta be buff, but just have the, the speed or the agility. You gotta have something that passes the, the look test because if they're investing what, six figures into you for the G League contract? I don't know how much they cost, but if they're investing in you, you gotta make sure you have the look. Um, just like, what do you provide to them that they need to pick you up? With me, I can fit into any team ever. I don't need the ball in my hands to be effective. Like, I can score without the ball. I don't need it at all. And so I feel like that's why I am a, a great commodity to any of these G League teams. And I feel like, you know, I get overlooked. It's cool, but I feel like in that aspect, you need a player that's going to do the dirty work. And I try to show that. So you got to ask yourself, what can you bring to a team? If it's scoring and that's it, then you're probably not going to make it. And you're not even going to, you know what I'm saying? Any team's going to need that because you can, they can replace you with somebody else who can probably score way better than you. So you got to find something else that you do. Like, is it defense? Is it energy? Is it diving on a loose ball? Is it um, hustling? Something that you do has to be something that they need. It's pretty much the biggest thing for tips wise. Um, I'll give you more tips on my le next vlog, but those are the biggest things. Having the look test, make sure you're working out to have the look. And um, what do you do to bring toward that team that they need you really bad? I appreciate y'all watching this G League vlog and stay tuned for my Orlando vlog. I'm gonna try to drop that in about a, about a couple days. Um, and I have the Dallas Mavericks G League vlog, not vlog, but G League tryout on this Saturday. So right now it's Tuesday, so I gotta get ready. So uh, love y'all, appreciate y'all so much, and uh, stay tuned for my D3 to NBA journey. It's gonna be a long process, but I know I can get there. Love y'all, appreciate y'all.